welcome to my channel books and knowledge as you all know that this channel is dedicated to studies of different subjects competitive exams knowledge of different books research papers and whatever is connected to education and knowledge so uh, we are doing the psychological lessons i have posted two lessons already and now this is the third in the series so let's begin the third lesson of educational psychology dear students i am going to give a, a short recap in hindi also at the end of the video so please uh, stay with us till the end of this video now this is educational psychology uh, um, i just gave you the introduction of psychology the definition etc in the first two uh, videos and now we are going to begin education psychology education plus psychology that means when you connect education to psychology or you take the help of psychology to edu uh, for education then it becomes educational psychology and it is a branch of applied psychology in the previous videos i already told you that psychology is of two kinds one is pure psychology and the other is the applied applied where it can be applied for the benefit of something else so here uh, education is getting benefited by psychology that's why applied psychology to education and it is a scientific study of human learning it deals with the problem processes and products of education you know if when a child learns starts learning uh, whatever problems they come whatever the uh, process or the way to impart education or the products of education they are all included in educational psychology it is an attempt to apply the knowledge of psychology in the field of education so uh, it helps uh, the education to grow that means it is all about learner and his educational needs in his environment there are three things connected here the learner education and the environment now let's do the definitions again sinner crow and crow peel they are all psychologists so they uh, try to explain us what educational psychology is so skinner says that it is the branch of psychology which deals with teaching and learning very good of course uh, when a learner learns and how the teacher teaches this is all there in educational psychology crow and crow uh, they say that it describes and explains the learning processes of an individual from birth through old age now these two people uh they concentrate on this educational psychology the process of educational psychology right from birth to the old age that means the full life span of a person what he gains during his life is educational psychology and peel simply says that it is the science of education how education is imparted so it is the science of education so, the nature of education in psychology it is an applied branch of fundamental psychology we have already discussed that that it is applied means it helps the uh, education that means applied it combines two fields education and psychology they are two different fields but they are connected here to benefit education it is the scientific study of human behavior in educational situation yes that's why the classes are there there is a class decorum there is a particular uniform so that the environment is made friendly this educational situation is friendly to the learning next it is concerned with those factors principles and techniques which are helpful in the growth and development of a child all the factors included principles techniques the books the classroom the teacher the etiquettes uh the test system uh, the lecture system all are the factors principles and techniques which help a, a student to grasp and grow in knowledge next is it is helpful in promoting efficient and effective learning this is important through psychology the learning becomes more efficient and effective so this is also there now let's do the areas of educational psychology 
it is generally said that there are six major areas which are covered by educational psychology the learner the teacher the learning process the learning situation the teaching situation uh, and the evaluation of learning process so let's discuss this a bit who is a learner see education psychology gives us the need of knowing it explains the need it gives you the knowledge of the need of the learner and deals with the techniques of the processes of uh, how, what will be the efficient way to teach him so the learner is the major part of this educational psychology it is uh, uh, the learner is the center because his needs are considered his psychology is considered his, the processes by which he can learn efficiently are there then the second one is the teacher now education psychology emphasizes on the essential personality traits interest attitudes and the characters of effecting effective teaching that means the teacher has to have a particular personality a personality which helps in teaching the teacher's characteristics the teacher's interest his attitude all should help the teacher to teach well in an effective and efficient way so that the learner can learn easily the learning process see there are so many learning processes we will be doing uh, all these topics in detail later on but then for a brief explanation um, the learner takes the learning experiences which are provided to him he comes out with different problems also these problems are uh, to be solved in the learning process only and slowly gradually from simple to complex uh, ways and methods are created so that he can perceive he can remember he can learn he can uh, formulate he can think well he is able to reason he can solve his own problems and then he can even transfer uh, the learning all these Uh, methods are there in effective learning the learning situation the situation is also uh, needs to be friendly to be um, effective and the relationship between the teacher and the learner should be compatible so the classroom climate that means the decorum of the classroom uh, the guide the teacher the situation the timings all should be in accordance to the learning situation teaching situation education psychology also suggests the techniques of teaching so it helps in deciding what learning situation should be provided by teacher to learner according to his mental and physical age you know you cannot teach very difficult subjects or very difficult points to small children so the teaching situation the teaching syllabuses the teaching uh, guidelines should be according to the age according to the mental capacity of the learner so therefore uh, you uh, the learner characteristics should be taken into mind and the teacher has to help towards it evaluation of learning process this is also very much important you just can't keep teaching 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 you have to evaluate in between that whether the learning process is effective or not so main objective of education is all round development of a learner it includes cognitive affective and psychomotor aspects of personality see when it is being taught so the brain of the Uh, students should be provoked or say invoked and the learning process of the student should be evaluated in such a way that he does grasp all what is taught to the learner so these are the six major areas covered by uh, education psychology
We will be doing much more according to the first grade syllabus and the syllabuses of uh, psychology uh, of bachelors and masters also. Even school students who are in 11th and 12th can uh, watch these videos uh, and can take the guidance. Uh, इस वीडियो में हमने देखा कि एजुकेशन और साइकोलॉजी को जब मिलाते हैं तो एक तरह से एजुकेशन साइकोलॉजी की नॉलेज या एक स्टडी बनती है अप्लाइड साइकोलॉजी की मदद से हम एजुकेशन को सुधारना उसकी प्रॉब्लम्स को सॉल्व करना उसके प्रोसेसेस को बढ़ाना ये एक अटेम्प्ट है जो कि साइकोलॉजी एजुकेशनल फील्ड में मदद करती है तो इसमें बहुत सारा काम लर्नर का होता है मतलब कहने का मतलब है कि लर्नर इसका सेंटर है और उसके एनवायरनमेंट को साइकोलॉजिकली ट्रीट किया जाता है जैसे कि उसका जो वो जो सीखता है वो एक अच्छे रूप से सीखे इसकी डेफिनेशन स्किनर क्रोक्रो एंड पील ने दी है और उन्होंने यही बताया है कि साइकोलॉजी टीचिंग और लर्निंग के बारे में है और साइकोलॉजी एक इंडिविजुअल की ग्रोथ के बारे में है उसके जन्म से लेके ओल्ड एज तक और ये एक साइंस ऑफ एजुकेशन है इसका नेचर को हम देखते हैं कि अप्लाइड ब्रांच है मतलब आपको पहले ही बताया कि साइकोलॉजी दो तरह की होती है एक तो प्योर साइकोलॉजी एक अप्लाइड अप्लाइड माने जिसको अप्लाई किया जाता है तो यहाँ पे एजुकेशन में अप्लाई किया जा रहा है और एजुकेशन और साइकोलॉजी को एक तरह से मिलाया जा रहा है साइंटिफिक वे कट से इसको लिया जाता है और जितने भी प्रिंसिपल्स और फैक्टर्स जो लर्निंग में काम आते हैं टेक्निक्स जो कि बच्चे को लर्न कराने में मतलब इस सीखने में ग्रो कराते हैं उन्हीं सबको फैक्टर्स को लिया जाता है और ये एफिशिएंट और इफेक्टिव लर्निंग में महत्वपूर्ण है इम्पॉर्टेंट है और इसके सिक्स मेजर एरियाज हैं लर्नर है टीचर लर्निंग प्रोसेस लर्निंग सिचुएशन द टीचिंग सिचुएशन इवेल्युएशन एंड लर्निंग प्रोसेसेस इसमें लर्नर की मेन भूमिका होती है उसके उसका पूरा जो कैरेक्टरिस्टिक है वो देखी जाती है उसकी सिचुएशन बनाई जाती है लर्निंग प्रोसेस की कि एक क्लासरूम हो वहाँ पे एक ड्रेस कोड हो वहाँ पर एक लैंग्वेज का डेकोरम हो ऐसे ही उनकी किताबें हैं किस तरह से सिंपल टू कॉम्प्लेक्स और बहुत सारी चीज़ें अभी हम आगे पढ़ते रहेंगे उन सब का ध्यान दिया जाता है I hope you must have understood what exactly uh, education psychology is. We will be back with a new video very soon. So stay connected, share and subscribe. Thank you.